you guys need help on the train I just rolled up. RCMP officers search a Vio Braille passenger train in Gillum. There is speculation the BC murder suspects might have hopped on a train or could still try to. Trains like these run really slow out 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 here, like, um, and it's like, it, it could really be plausible. Elsewhere in their search, Mounties are combing the woods with a canine unit and using a special drone. Heavily armed tactical officers are also here and the only road to Gillum has a mandatory 24-hour check stop that all drivers must go through. Major crimes investigators have also been brought in. They phoned Gillum cabbie Amar Sahoda on Friday. They wanted to know if I drop anybody in any, any camp nearby the Gillum. The short answer, no. But he did get a strange call on Monday from someone wanting to be dropped off at a community called Bird as fast as possible. When the cabbie said no, that it was too far, he got mad and hung up. Sahoda doesn't know who was on the other end of the line. But in a town that's become the center of international attention, anything out of the ordinary stands out and gets people talking. The military, meanwhile, is flying a Hercules above gloomy northern Manitoba skies for the second day in a row. But the search hasn't been easy. It stormed several times, making an already swampy area even wetter. On the ground, Mounties are knocking on every door. Nothing is uh, no, as, norm as normal as it was before. Nothing's, everything's changed here and everybody's on edge. The Indigenous-led Bear Clan Patrol flew seven volunteers up from Winnipeg to Gillum. There's a high level of stress right now and um, their, their way of life right now has been impacted deeply. They're all inside. Um, we've been to a couple of communities. Everyone's indoors, everyone's scared. Worried and waiting for news. Austin Grabish, CBC News, Gillum.